Okay, so it's an item at the McDonald Botley Park Hotel and Spa. And this is what you get for £59. So I managed to get this room on a special deal today from a company I've never heard of called Super Travel. But this is what you get for 59 quid. Normally a lot more than this. It's currently a four-star hotel, I believe, this one. So yeah, let's have a quick look around. So first of all, we've got a really good quality bed with decent bedding. A relatively nice carpet. Until it's quite old though. So we've got bedside table, a few pictures on the wall. Yeah. Same again this side. Now I will notice that this bedside lamp doesn't work. It could be that the bulb has just gone. But yeah, I will uh, report that to reception and see what they say. There's a radiator in the room, although it isn't on. Maybe that's on a timer, I'm not too sure. Yeah, this is what you get for the price. So there was a stand here, but it was already in the wardrobe, so I've had to get that out. We've got a couple of chairs here. Again, with a bit of a stain on it. Quite threadbare as well. There's quite a few stains on this. I would expect better from a four-star hotel. We've got a very nice table here. It's very clean, that table. Until it's been polished. And another one of these chairs with... Threadbare again. Wouldn't expect this from such a good brand. More pictures on the wall, and tonight we've got a bit of a view of a car park. It's not too bad, I suppose. I'm not here for the view, but just the little details here are, are pointing out to me. So these are curtains and the threadbare. Yeah, not good. And uh, if we look on the roof here, ceiling. Sorry, we've got some cracks. And a bit of something that's been filled in. A big crack running all the way down this one. Yeah, not good. So all the lights are off when I came in this room. So when they turn the main light on, we only get the one in the centre. But yeah, I had to go around and unplug plug everything back in, sorry, and um, get them on. You would think that would already be done. The hotel at this price point, normally well over £100 a night here, but yeah. So let's rest the room. We've got a lamp that can be pulled out. Yeah, so I'll not do that because it looks a bit dodgy. Uh, big TV with the remote and the batteries. So that's good. We've got a mini fridge. There's no water or anything in there. I think that would have been a nice touch. And maybe a little bottle of water. But no, nothing. So we've got shortbread. They're good. Is the kettle clean, I wonder? Not particularly. Well, there's quite a lot of lime scale at the bottom there, and it's quite yellow. So that's not good. This kettle does look quite old as well. Yeah, not the best. So we've got a tea and coffee caddy with some of the branded ones, twinings and whatnot in there. So that's not too bad. I've also got a couple of glasses too. But it's okay. It's not too bad. So we've got a desk here, there's a hair dryer in one of these drawers, I've just tried it, it does work perfectly. Again it's just a bit old, you've got something under the glass here telling you about what you can uh, have and what's open and what's not. Another lamp and a nice mirror, I think this used to be uh, an interconnecting door or still is, I'm not sure. We've also got a, a bin down there. You can tell it's an older hotel because we've got a trouser press. And again, no one uses these anymore. Not that I'm aware of. I've not seen anyone use one. Okay, so got extra towels and pillows, but they're not in a bag. Anyone know someone's not had them already? You just put them back up there. That's not good. So what else have we got? A nice big wardrobe. We've got an ironing board and an iron. And then the unstealable hangers along with a big mirror. Yeah, so that's okay. This whole hotel though just feels a bit run down. Although it looks nice on first impressions, uh, you can tell it needs a bit of money spending on it. This carpet, the more I look at it, the more I see stains and whatnot on it. And when I checked in, I was asked if I wanted to upgrade my room for an extra £20. Now, personally, I think if the sleeping room's already, I think they should be providing you a better room to start with. 
I shouldn't have to pay extra to get something that I, what I paid for. But here we go. So this is a bathroom. Let's tell it's like a Victorian style um, that they're going for here. But it is all functional. Just tell it's older. It's quite clean. Nice toilet. It's a decent toilet roll. It's not the cheap stuff. Uh, a few towels there and a heated rail. Thankfully, this one isn't with gaffer tape all over it like it Britannia. So we've got the extra soap on a the wall there. It's decent ones. Uh, and we've got some racks there for all your things and a shower as well up here. They do give you a bath mat, that's good. It's up on the floor. They give you one of these absolutely minging and pointless non slip mats. Actually, make it worse. A couple of glasses here and a big mirror with shaver points and a soap as well. Now, this hotel does have a pool, so you can use that. There is no extra charge for it, and they also have fast Wi Fi, there's no extra charge for that, too. We've got a in room uh, air conditioning, so I'll be trying that out, too. But yeah, overall, in the room it's okay, but. For a four-star hotel, I would have expected better. Everything seems to be run down the more you look. And you wouldn't really expect this from a McDonald hotel. Usually quite bad. Quite, quite good, sorry. So yeah, that's that. What do you guys think? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and let me know what you see. Okay, so I went to reception and I told them about the issues that I'd had. And they've... Give me a different room. I, want, I don't know if it's not great or what, I'm not sure. It just seems because I was paying the cheapest amount, they give me the worst room. So I had to go and say something. So this is the other room. I won't do a full tour because it's going to be the same. Um, but yeah, this time I've got a super king size bed, some different coloured lamp shades and lamps, sorry, and some random red chairs. Again, these look like they've been here for quite some time. The, I'd say the 90s or early 2000s. So, yeah, that's that. Bit of a stain there on the floor. Have we got a better view this time? Yeah, car park. Bit of green, it's not too bad. I'm not really looking at the window anyway. But this is what you get. It's quite a nice this room. It's just, you can tell this whole hotel is dated and really, really neat and an upgrade. It's okay I'm paying the price that I am tonight, but normally this would be more than double what I paid. It's only because it's the first week of January that this is this price. And they've got nothing on, so yeah. Yeah, pretty much the same as before, but this time the chairs are a bit better and the, the curtains aren't all frayed. So yeah, just thought I'd update and show you that one. So I'm back in the room now, and there's one thing here I just thought I'd better add. So this is a room service menu. I've just been reading through what you can have. And it also says on the side here, there's a five pound tray charge. So that's before they've put any tips on or anything like that, which obviously people bring you to your room, generally speaking, you would give a tip. So I just thought I'd run through some prices here. I think they're massively um, inflated. So for instance, there's a sweet and savory box here, which you get a packet of crisps, a packet of peanuts, and two chocolate bars is 12 quid. But it's not 12 quid because there's a £5 tray charge. So for them four items, it's going to cost you £17. £17 for two chocolate bars, a packet of crisps, and a peanuts. Is that justifiable? I don't think so. Is it justifiable to charge 15 quid for an egg mayo sandwich? It's, uh, it's really expensive. Now, I don't mind spending money if the food is good, but that is just ridiculous. You're just getting ripped off. So we've got a, a Wagyu beef burger at £22. I understand Wagyu beef is more expensive, so yeah, I suppose that's not as bad as I thought. But, uh, yeah, some of these prices here are ridiculous. Just thought I needed to add that. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so I thought I'd come outside and show you a bit of the grounds. So this is the way in. A massive car park here because all the way around this building just around here and further around and that's the um, entrance to the spire if you're not staying here 
So the next side courtyard terrace there, obviously not in use because it's winter, and this is the main way in. Let's go and have a look. The bar area and lounge. It's quite nice in the communal areas. It's not that run down. And there is a restaurant just through that door there. It's currently shut. I will try and put the camera in and see how it is. Yeah. So just down here is where you check in, just to the right. Jacket desk there. Like a bit of a communal area here. This is the way to the spa. So there's a gym here. There's also a spa. Um, I think there's a dance studio as well. I think they must hire that out. So this is Jim. So the communal areas, like I said before, they are nice uh, and well laid out. It's really wide corridors. It looks good, but while you go into it, no, you start going to the rooms. It's not. Back, back in a minute. So I've just come to this area. And this is where they must do the massages. Just in there. There's also a. A sports bar in there as well. So we will go and have a look where the pool is. Back in a moment. There we go. Squash courts as well. That's good. Can hear the music in there. Someone's doing something. And this is the way into the pool. Okay, so I found the pool, but unfortunately there's people in it, so I don't want to film. It's just through this door here. It's like a separate reception. You see, I found it's 11 meters long and just a jacuzzi as well. So, and it's currently 30 degrees. It does look quite good. So yeah. Oh, wrong turn. So let's go to the room. I'll show you to the room. So all these lights on the corridor turn themselves off immediately. It's like a Britannia. Um, and the, the carpet's not the nicest. It looks good on the camera, but. Everywhere you look, they're just it's a bit run down and shabby. If you look at the bottom of the doors, a hotel at this price point, what it would be normally, you wouldn't really expect that. So, yeah. So I'm walking in the dark now, waiting for the lights to come on. It's not good, really. I've not seen them for years. This is what we've got here. We've got squash courts, gym, dance hall. Like I say, already there is a pool down there. This must be like a bit of a bridge from one building to another. Yeah, just down here. Right, well, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share to all your social media.